Hey guys, welcome back. So, today we're going to do a little foundation first impression. Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus Full Coverage Fruit Complex. It sounds like it's super watery. I'm very nervous. So I'm going to give you all the info on this. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all the info on this foundation as I'm putting it on. So, um, yeah, let's just jump in. I'm gonna use my go-to primer, the First Aid Beauty doo -doo -doo, Pores Be Gone Matte Primer, my favorite. Oh. I am gonna take, I'm taking a little bit of Bioderma. just to make sure there's no mm, like oil or anything on my face. This is so awkward. Got my little Ofra sponge. Just a little too wet. Okay, primer. Ooh, we're running low. Oh, my hand is wet. I really want to put my hair back, but I don't have anything out here. So I'm going to be using 50 WN Medium Warm Neutral Undertone. Looks like a pretty good match. So here's, woo, do you see how it's like very watery? It almost looks like it has oil in it. Let me see if you guys are able to see that. Do you see how it has that like oily look to it? Kind of worries me. All right, I'm going to take two pumps. All right, let's do this. Cheers. Boom. Okay, so this is described as an anti-aging powerhouse packed with antioxidants, vitamin C, collagen, and elastin boosting ingredients to protect and perfect the look and feel of your skin. Available in 20 neutral shades. Now, the foundation shades pull very yellow. If you're someone who is very cool, I don't think this is going to be the foundation for you. The entire shade range is either neutral or warm or yellow. Very, very yellow. Just keep that in mind. Um, it's $45 and benefits. So it says it is packed with antioxidant ingredients to protect against environmental aggressors. Naturally derived extracts instantly provide exceptional glide and blending for effortless application. It has a luminous second skin finish that is lightweight and buildable for custom coverage, which sounds amazing. Long wearing and water resistant make it a great choice for even humid climates. That is very interesting. And it says creamy, soft texture soothes and moisturizes skin for optimal comfort. Oh, one more thing that I forgot. Pomegranate moisture complex containing go-to kala, I'm probably saying that wrong, extract hydrates and smooths the skin surface and restores overall skin health. So it's very heavy on the skincare benefits, which I think is amazing. Cause you know with some foundations, if you wear it for a few days in a row, you can, like your skin can start to kind of like break out or it's just like too much. This seems very heavy on the skincare aspect, which I really, really like, especially me being um, not 25 anymore. That is absolutely amazing. So she sounds pretty darn great. And applying it right now, like girl, she looks real bomb. I'm going to put on one more pump and see if we can build it up a little. One more. I'm kind of concerned that two layers might be too much and it might look a little heavy and cakey, but at least you guys will know that 
this is not a buildable foundation. I think one layer looked really, really pretty. And normally I would just stick with one layer, but I really do want to see if we're able to build this up and get some more coverage going on. So uh, let's hope for the best. Oh, one other thing, this shade is dang perfect. Like for me right now being tan, perfection. I think that looks pretty good. I thought it was gonna be like very um, dewy and like luminous, but it looks really nice. It actually looks really good. This looks really pretty. The whole like luminous fruit complex thing kind of terrified me, but I think it looks really good. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my makeup. I'll be back and we will talk more about this whole situation. So I wanted you guys to see how the foundation looked after I put powder on. So I used the NARS Crystal Loose Powder under my eyes and then the Fenty Instant Retouch Setting Powder on the rest of my face. I still think it looks pretty good. <laughs> Okay, so my makeup's done. It's been probably like an hour and a half. I had to eat lunch and then I got sidetracked with like flipping laundry and whatever. So right now it's 2.30. I think my face looks really, really good. What do you guys think? Be nice. I was just expecting something so different, which kind of shows you can't really judge a book by its cover. Because looking at this and like Shaking it up, I was like, oh, this is going to be so like oily and dewy and falling off my face. And it's really not. It has a very like natural finish. I think it looks so good. I don't feel dewy at all. Dewy. I feel like I say that word so weird. But I don't like, it just looks good. It's not matte. It's not luminous. It's just like normal. So I'm going to go about my day. I'll do some check-ins with you guys. We'll see how this holds up. It's not super hot today. Let me look. 86. So, I mean, okay, it's pretty hot today. I'm going to put this foundation to the test later because we're going to, we've been playing Frisbee every night. Tony and I, sometimes the kids join in and it's been like my exercise because like Tony will throw it crazy and I have to like run after it. And it's actually a really good workout and we're like addicted to playing Frisbee like probably more so than anyone should be. Cross your fingers that it continues to look like this because if it does, like if I had to rate this right now, I would give it a 10, like full blown five star 10. It looks so good. Like it doesn't feel heavy. It feels very natural. I do have, I would say like medium coverage, but it just looks so like thin. I do find with a lot of foundations, especially ones that claim to be full coverage, I just can't wear them anymore. I'm no longer 25, I'm no longer 30. So um, I have to be careful with foundation. That's why I love the L'Oreal Freshwear so much because it does give me a good amount of coverage, but it looks very natural and pretty on the skin. This actually looks so good. Like, other than the Freshwear, this is the most beautiful foundation that I've probably worn in, I want to say, a year. Like, no joke. Just right now, the way that it looks on my face, oh my god, it looks so good. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. It doesn't look cakey or heavy or anything, like, at all. It looks so... Oh my god, it looks so good. That could totally change. I could go outside and this could fall off and it could look terrible. But right now, if I had to rate this, I would give it a full-blown 20 out of 10. I have very, very, very high expectations at this point because, like, it looks so good right now. How could it go downhill? But we all know things can go downhill very, very fast. So um, cross your fingers that I come back in a few hours and I am just over the moon. Uh, girl, my skin looks so good okay so we're still in the beauty room obviously but i have you guys on my windowsill i have like a super big windowsill with like plants and stuff on it 
because I wanted to give you guys like natural lighting. It still looks so good. It's 5.30, did I tell you that? I don't think so, but it's 5.30 and my skin looks, mm. You know what, hold one second. Let me look. So we are getting a little dewy like up here. In here like around my nose. But overall, I still think it looks really, really good. Like, really good. So this is the point in the day where I would do a little bit of a touch-up. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury powder. It's a little bit light for me. This is in the shade medium. But we're just going to do... Probably should use a mirror. We're just going to do a little... Oh, I really need it on my forehead. Okay. That should be good. Oh, perfect. Okay. Oh, I always try to do that. I try to like close it with the so that actually looks really, really good. So um, yeah, we'll see how we are doing in a few hours. Hopefully I'm not much more oily because I really, really want to love this foundation. And right now I love it, but if it makes me super oily, it's just not worth it. <laughs> Okay, final update. So it is 8.16. Look at my cute little boys. Emma was my last screensaver for a very long time, so now it's the boys. Hey. Cute babies. Okay, so we were outside playing frisbee and I was sweating. It is super, super humid out. But, um, I mean, this foundation still looks really, really good. Now it's totally gone, like, on my top lip because I was sweating and I kept, like, patting it. But honestly, for the amount of sweat that was on my face, it looks really, really good. Like I could totally change my outfit into like something cute and go out and not even really have to do anything. Like the fact that I was sweating so much and it still looks like perfect is kind of blowing my mind. I'm actually really, really surprised because I already told you guys I thought it was gonna be super luminous, very dewy, it was gonna make me very oily and I had visions of it like falling apart it looked so good all day like I did get oily you guys saw me put powder on and I was good after that but like even now I don't look that oily and I was just like I was visibly sweating so that's kind of weird okay so final thoughts if you are someone who has problems with texture or you have mature skin you are going to love this foundation even if you're oily, just keep a little bit of powder with you for like halfway through the day, do a little powder, and you are good to go. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Girl, I look amazing. I am going to rate this like 9 out of 10, no joke. And I never thought I was going to say that. I even said to Erin, I'm like, I'm going to do a first impression on the Natasha foundation, but I know that I'm going to hate it. Like, I can just tell. I was so wrong. I like that I can do the one layer and it's very like natural and everyday appropriate for me, but I can build it up, do the two layers that you guys saw. Like this for me is a lot of coverage and I would do this like if I were going out, if I had like an event or something. So um, I freaking love this. Oh my gosh, Natasha, you got me shook, girl. And today was a really good day to put this to the test because it's very, very humid out. I was outside quite a bit. I was over with Tara for a while and then I was outside playing Frisbee. So I really feel like I put this one to the test and it passed with flying freaking colors. I just feel like the older I get, the less I like putting foundation on my face. And this one was just so like, I don't know, it was such a good experience for me. So I am... I love her, I wanna sleep beside her in bed tonight. Should I pour some water on my face? Because it does say it's water resistant. I'll be right back. So this is what I water my plants with, this cute little Starbucks um, jug that was sent to me by one of my subscribers. Thanks, girl. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my face and we're gonna see what like comes off on a paper towel. I don't know. 
What should I do? <laughs> I'm so good at this. I feel like I already did the water resistant part because of like being so sweaty, but we're still gonna do this. Ready? <laughs> Thank God my Apple Watch is waterproof. Okay, we're definitely wet. Oh, that's my brow. Wow, that's actually really impressive. That is all eyebrow. Wait, what? Nothing came off. It's like hardly anything. It's like a little tint of something. Consider me shooketh. How's that even possible? Wait, let's do this side. Okay. How is this possible? Oh my, what? Girl, I would wear this in a freaking rainstorm and still look like a tan. <laughs> oh, she a dime piece, yo. <laughs> So um, if there's anything I didn't cover that you're curious about, just let me know down below and I will do my best to answer your question. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I will see you guys next time. Bye. So I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back so we can talk more about this whole situation. What are you doing? Hmm? I really have to pee. Ooh. Oh, and I have a romper on. Oh God, I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> Don't eat the Sour Patch Kids in the bottom drawer! Oh, I really want to eat that.